Yo, what's up, guys? Beautiful day. Good, 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 good. Good start to the Monday. Finished up in after hours there at 1380 on the nose. Volume was good. Uh, up a little bit over 14%, I believe. Um, I think tomorrow is a very important today. If we can keep pushing and get past that $14.50, $15 mark, I think that is a key, key number. Get this thing jumping up to $17, $18 bucks there, and I think they're going to have to really start covering. They're going to have to do that. What I don't want to see tomorrow, if it happens, it happens. I don't want to see these ladder attacks and, and trading sideways and all that. If it happens, it happens, right? Uh, but I think these guys have to throw in the towel sooner than than later they're they're losing just millions upon millions the numbers we've shown they're all out there how much they're losing per day but i honestly don't think how that how much farther can they go right um another important thing i want to touch on the end of this not a lot of people are talking about it um is the fed pumping in all this money in the repo market um i think we're gonna have a little bit of a collateral panic here shortly boys and girls so stay tuned for that I just want to touch on a couple things and get out of here for the night, get some sleep. But here's your Ortex data, as promised always. I did post it in the uh, community page today. But if you guys want to take a look at this, here's your Monday's live updates, your changes here. Utilization's almost at 100 again, right? And then all your numbers across there if you guys want to pause it and take a peek at it. Let's take a peek at the iBorrow desk and Fintel really quickly. Um, interest rates about the same, but today the short volume here available didn't change too much. I think here 400,000, 1.9, 1.8, 1.5, 1.3, 1 and then up at 1.2. Um, Fintel is reporting 1.9 and a total short volume of 37 million out of the 113 million. Okay. Um, this here, these damn hedge funds, stupid ass sites. I mean, look at this. They're trying to make Adam Aaron look like a senile old man here. I'll post this, guys. If you have not seen this, this was posted today by the Citadel owned investor place. So take a peek at some of these highlights, you guys. This just makes me sick here. It's just comical, really. During a recent conference call, Aaron went off the rails like he's a senile old man, right? Aaron went off the rails and started quoting Winston Churchill. It was the second time in a year that the CEO publicly attempted to channel Churchill, likening World War II to AMC's battle for survival might not sit well with some folks. So you guys can read through this if you have not read it. This was today's article. A um, couple other ones down here. They're talking about he's a known ape. Like he, you know, to the naked eye, we all know napes. You know, it's nothing derogatory. They're not trying to say, but maybe Adam's a senile old man and is referring to his, uh, you know, the shareholders as apes. Like somebody wouldn't know it. That I don't know. Whatever. You know what I'm saying. Um, and they're going to end up here. Investors may want to sit this one out and watch the AMC stock story unfold from afar. Yeah, okay, man. Right, right, right. Here's one here if you guys want to pause this. I want to make this video short, but another one. We touched on this yesterday in the video um, about the crypto pages. Here's another one here this guy's talking about, you know, hey, basically saying it's not Elon, it's not China. It's GME and AMC and hedge funds getting liquidated. So... Another piece over there. I noticed on my video last night, remember I put together the one about the crypto? Had a couple folks on there that did mention, hey, I'm here, I'm going to buy some AMC. Even my little tiny channel, you guys, we can get some more people over there. Along with all these, you know, there's a ton of these YouTubers that the big popular ones that have not been covering AMC are starting to do so. I mean, this is just building and building and building how these hedge dudes can continue to do this they have to know sure the ego and all the the, the crap they do but they've got to know enough's enough right and if we can push this price word up a little bit more nighty night nighty night um so we touched on that one if you guys want to take a peek at that look at our boy kenny g over here ups his stake in amazon i noticed here today Recent 13F filing, Griffin has purchased 197,000 shares of Amazon, increasing its holdings by 2,400%. So I found that kind of interesting there. Um, this, you guys, 
Um, Fed drains. This was on Thursday, May 20th. Okay. And then we'll go over today's numbers here, but this is a monster deal here. And I didn't see a lot of people talking about this and I'll get into it in just one second, but Fed drains 351 billion in liquidity from market via reverse repos as banking system creaks under mountain of reserves. The Fed is struggling to keep the liquidity it created from going haywire. Um, this morning, the Fed sold $351 billion in Treasury securities overnight, reverse repos to 48 counterparties, thereby blowing past the brief spike at the end of March 2020, and more than replacing yesterday's $294 million in Treasury securities that it has sold via reverse repos to 43 counterparties and that matured and unwound this morning. Remember, this was Thursday, okay? So you blast over here to today, we're up 394 million buckaroos in there. Look at this spike up. Weep! This is getting gnarly, ladies and gentlemen. It is outstanding for the movements, the GameStop and AMC, but this market is going to take a big, big poo-poo. Now, over to this here. This, you guys, is a wonderful, wonderful. This was just posted a couple hours ago. But if you have not seen the Charlie's, uh, what's his name? Sorry, I got that wrong. I want to give him a shout out because he originally posted this video over here. But let's get back to the post here. Charlie on videos, is that his name is? We want to definitely give Thanks him a shout out. Thanks to your perseverance, you made a way. Wells Fargo is proud to be by your side as you keep your business there. going. To help. Come on, you slow piece of shit. Sorry, guys, had a freeze there. But Charlie and the Vids, this guy is a very, very underrated YouTuber. Way bigger than me, but he's still very underrated. This guy, DD, he pulls it straight from SEC's blah, blah, blahs. But his, his video title alone is great. Definitely go check him out. I'm going to post this link here. But this gets a little bit more detail on what that I just touched on there. But shout out to these two, Waffle Josh 101 for posting this a couple hours ago on Reddit. And then you guys definitely watch that video here. But you have to read through this. I don't want to carry on in this video. But this is a super very important thing from now for us in the AMC GameStop. But the future of the market too. This is a monster horrendous deal that uh, is going to get ugly. Ugly, ugly, ugly. Okay, guys, I'm going to post that there for you. I don't want to spend the whole video going through that. Um, my whole point in doing these, <clears throat> if I come across something that nobody's talking about, I know a lot of time I fortunately or unfortunately, the way you want to look at it, have time throughout the day to do this. So I'm not trying to just copy other people's stuff. If I find something interesting that I think is a must get out there, the sole reason I'm doing that is to get it out there. I don't want to take any credit for any of these. As you guys know, and I've had a bunch of comments, I like digging for things and I go out of my way to try to find stuff that nobody's talking about, whether it's on the internet or uh, Reddit or wherever it's from, but I try not to be repetitive. So I hope you guys know that. I think this is just too important to get as many eyeballs on it as possible because this is a very big deal. You know, it's not has to do directly with AMStop, GameStop or AMC, but still it's a, a monster deal for the market in general. Okay, guys. Awesome. I'm going to get a little bit of rest and I'll talk to you later. Let's go tomorrow. Let's look for a continue upwards. And let's bust over that $14.50, $15, bucks, and it's home free. Okay, guys, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.